Bill, I'm so happy we had opportunity to gather again for a new LTP, Logical Thinking Process Session, training session, six day in Paris, second time. Um, I had uh, the opportunity, I was very fortunate to attend the second time mm -hmm. as an observer this time. And uh, well, for me, uh, it was really beneficial because I could reinforce some of my understanding and uh, have probably uh, closed some gaps I had. Um, and also what I noticed, uh, seeing the other participant uh, going through the course, especially building the trees, uh, it was very um, nice to see this nice synergy we had with two persons from the same company, how they built their own tree and it was fast for them, mm -hmm. it was robust and uh, well they, they did not spend so much time about thinking about things because they reinforced each other so it was very uh, astonishing mm -hmm. for me, very positively astonishing. How did you feel about this session? I agree with uh, your observations Christian, I especially uh, saw the same synergy with the uh, uh, with the two guys from South Africa and uh, they were probably as engaged as anybody that I've ever seen in this uh, it w which was very comforting to me to see because I always worry about whether or not people look at it and say gee this is too tough to do or this is uh, more than I expected and and uh, I, I prefer people who well I prefer the reaction to be uh, Give me more. This is all. I'll take it. Take it as fast as I can get it. And that's. I think we got that from the guys from South Africa. Yeah. Now we also got that from the participant from Greece. Uh, he was. Uh, he came to the course with prior experience uh, of his own, self-taught, and I'm quite amazed at how prepared he was and how good the quality of his first pass at most of the trees was. It worked, turned out to be quite nice in that regard. Uh, I think there's also a synergy among the various participants. We had one from Sweden, uh, we had uh, one from France, yeah. uh, then we had uh, the uh, two from South Africa and one from Cyprus actually. and. Uh, we started out as strangers to one another, and by the end of seven days, we were uh, really into it. We were enjoying each other, joking at each other, and uh, and uh, that only happens when you're comfortable sharing your experiences and uh, your your opinions with other people. And uh, I, I'd say this is probably one of the tighter groups that I that hasn't been associated with a single organization mm -hmm. that I've had. Uh, for that, I was very grateful and uh, thought it was good. Uh, let's uh, let's hope that we can do that again in the future. Yeah, sure. And uh, what uh, you just mentioned also, it's very key for people's success, for participants' success to come prepared. Mm -hmm. So it's mandatory, if I can say, to have a, a, a first knowledge. So that's why we send out the book. Mm -hmm. in advance, ahead of time, mm -hmm. so that people have at least the necessary chapter read so they come prepared. Mm -hmm. So it helps to speed up and to keep the pace of the, mm -hmm. of the course. That, that is true. And uh, you mentioned yourself that uh, the pace of the course was fairly, uh, fairly intense, fairly fast. Uh, this is the only thinking process course taught by anybody anywhere that is completed in six days mm. and has actually uh, more content than what the other courses do. The only way that we can do that is if people come prepared to improve on learning that they have already attempted to do. So consequently, I've designed the course so that it appeals to all three learning medium. Uh, the first is visual. Many people, most people I would say, are visual learners. Yeah. Uh, a slightly smaller percentage favors auditory over visual, but that doesn't mean they don't do the visual too. It just means that auditory is more prominent for them. 
And finally, there are tactile learners, and these are the ones for whom they can see it and hear it, but until they actually get their hands on it and try it for themselves and do it, uh, the learning really doesn't sink in. I try to make this course a combination of the three. The visual part, uh, most of it takes place before the course starts because we ask people to read at a very minimum selected chapters of the book that yeah. they're going to have to use. Uh, then they come to the course and they get to see the visuals on the slides and uh, the discussion around those slides. Uh, and they also get to hear it, the same material that they've read about from me because mm -hmm. I stand up and I tell them what they have read, basically, and explain issues that they may not have understood the first time. And then finally, after each of the, uh, after we go through each of the tools in sequence, uh, at the end of each tool, we have a session where they actually build uh, a logic tree, uh, that was the kind that we had just finished talking about. There are five of these, so there are five logic trees that they have a chance to uh, try to build in the course of six days. And then, of course, on the last day, uh, the last day we devote entirely to teaching people how to apply this stuff. In other words, there's no tree building on the last day. It's how do you overcome resistance to change with it? How do you present this, uh, the analyses that you do with this in a way that are not going to be rejected out of hand in the organization. And uh, so it's a full plate for five and a half days, and that's really what it is, five and a half rather than six. So I, I was very pleased with how this worked out, and I will say what really pleased me more than anything is that we finished early, and that almost never happens. And the reason it never almost never happens is because not many people are were as well prepared as this group was. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, you mentioned uh, the full plate. Well, we go uh, through this training, we go through uh, the five tools, and as uh, you mentioned in the, in the presentation of the, the course, uh, people come in with their problem and they go out with a fully actionable solution. And uh, Seeing it the second time, I can really now have a good confidence about the value for money when you get out of this course. I'm glad to hear you say that because that is something that is of uh, concern to me, that people feel like it was time and money well spent to come to the course. Uh, and I would say that in, under the right circumstances, with the right uh, energetic application, uh, you know, one thinking process analysis uh, completed after the course is over in the organization of choice uh, will more than justify mm -hmm. the cost. Yeah, sure. In both time and funds. Mm -hmm. So, are we up for another session in Paris anytime of, soon? Of course, mm -hmm. of course. Uh, I'm always up for a session in Paris. It's a beautiful city. Uh, the uh, restaurants and the uh, chefs are uh, rightly uh, honored the world around for, for a very good reason. And uh, so I think that uh, this is a, a wonderful place. The one thing I could have wished for in this last one was a little bit better weather yeah. for most of the course. <laughs> it rained almost all of the time. On the other hand, having all of that rain meant I didn't feel, and nor did the participants feel, like they were missing something. Uh, oh, it's sunny. We could go to the Louvre today, or we could go here or there. Uh, nobody wanted to be out in that, so being in a course like this was probably the best activity. Absolutely. So, anyway, well, thank you very much for this opportunity to talk about it. Thank you, Bill. Thank you.